YouTube. I had this guitar for 13 years. Love this guitar. It's the first really good guitar that I had. It was a $200 guitar, but honestly, this guitar has done so well throughout the years. Still plays wonderful. I'm going to be changing the pickup because, well, it got wet. And we'll show you what it sounds like now. <coughs> And then, here's what it used to sound like. So yeah, uh, quite a big difference. It, the volume's super low, sounds very shrill, doesn't have that warm body that it used to have so unboxing the Seymour Duncan box here I already cut the top open needed two hands for that package it pretty well with this uh, papery stuff see that and as you can see we got the Nazgul so I like the way it sounded on their website they had a really good resource where you could just uh, kind of hear what the pickup sounded like so you kind of get an understanding of what you're buying and well I like a lot of metal and rock and roll so this seemed to fit nicely with my taste in music also is the exact color that I was looking for as you see it's like the exact same so I really didn't want to pick up that looked drastically different because I really like just the way that the guitar looks I think it was the art style was just Perfect. I love it and didn't want to change it. So this is just a perfect fit. Thank you, Seymour Duncan. And let's uh let's check it out. Just wanted to show you what it looks like by itself right out of the box. You get the cables nicely wound around there so it can of course all fit in the box and then you get a bunch of wires. So if you do have like multiple uh, switches like dual coil and everything like that, it'll be enough to hook up onto those. I won't be using all of these wires today. But, just in case you have that and want one of these, then well now you know it can be done with the Nazgul Seymour Duncan. So, yep, looks like a pickup. Just try to work on getting it in there. I also just want to show out of the box there were these uh, like new springs and uh, screws that come with it and also they give you a nice little wiring diagram here shows you all the little pots and stuff and then uh yeah so expect one of those in there if you need some help there it is they give it to you with the package so i wanted to save my string because i don't have an extra set of strings right now i probably should have got one anyway so i just kind of pulled them around the pickup so we could pull it out now it is time to open up the cavity. And on my guitar, there's just one. This little coffin shape right here. It's a pretty simple guitar, nothing too fancy. Sort of what I like about it. So this is what the inside of a $200 guitar looks like. This has never been opened before. This is the first time this has ever been messed with. And if you can tell right there, the uh, hole that the screw went in to hold the cover on was really close to the edge. So, maybe something that could have just been overlooked. But in screwing it out, it bore itself out of the hole that's okay though, because there's multiple other screws. This one's pretty close too. You can see, look how close that is. Oh yeah. 
but um, it, it it won't go back on exactly the same probably, but it'll be close. It'll stay on. But uh, if you want to gauge what you know, two hundred dollar guitars look like real quick, what the solder work looks like in there, it looks pretty solid. Not not terrible. So if you're ever wondering, you know, should you buy a two hundred dollar guitar? Well, it's kind of what you're looking at. Like I said, this guitar is 13 years old, and I love it. It's been great all these years. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do, take off the four screws around the corners. And hope to not strip them because they are severely rusted and old. Okay, so once you remove those screws, it should uh, come up out of the body. And then uh, you can see there's one wire going down. For this pickup, this other wire is for the neck pickup. What you're going to want to do is kind of wiggle this so you can look in the back. Yeah, so just turn it over. Yeah, where are you? Oh, there we are. Okay. Okay. So kind of... Uh, Go to the pickup, and you can see which wire it is. I'm trying to get this to focus. All right, yeah. See this wire up here? There we go. Now we know it's that wire. So, trace it down. And now we can see that it's connected just right here, along with the other pickup. All right. So as we can see the. Connection is right here, so we're just going to use a soldering iron to melt this solder loose. It may take a few minutes, but just want to melt the solder just on that one until it until it's loose and and can come off. So I didn't film it because I needed two hands, but these two, the on a Seymour Duncan, all wires are different on every pickup, but you want to solder, solder these two together. You see how they're one now? You don't want to solder them together and then take some electrical tape and tape them off. Unless you have a split coil, but we don't have a split coil. Alright, so just a few notes about the wiring here. Alright, um... It was quite different in the diagram. This is a little bit different. Because um, obviously I don't have four pots like that. I've only got two. One there, one there. And so basically what you want to do is take the hot wire. The hot wire, which is the black one. Okay, it tells you the Seymour Duncan set up, uh, the black is the hot. And then of course that you twist together the bare wire with the green one. And those get soldered down to the pot. Okay, you solder it down there to the pot. Okay, and then the, uh, of course the two, the red and the white, they get taped off and soldered together. And then, uh, so it's basically how it goes, the hot wire to the switch. This is the switch, the uh, three-way switch. Hear that? The switch, hot wire goes to the switch. In my case, um, i try to get this to focus. In my case, you see these two prongs? These two? The wire, in my case, runs across both of them. And the way I knew that was because of the way that it looked before I took anything apart. So it's important that you remember the way things look before you take them apart. So hot wire up here, across the two. Put the green and bare wires, twist them together. And um, in my case, I saw that they went with the rest of the jumble of wires here, basically from the other pickup. And they all solder into this spot right here together. And then, uh, that's how our wired it up, and it's sounding pretty good now, so. The mount here, we need to take the screws off. 
Uh, I just want to talk about the wiring real quick because uh, I noticed the Seymour Duncan has like, I don't know, like five wires or something. I, I forget. This one only has two. So, full view. Just that. Those two wires. That red one was the one connected to the pickup selector, the switch. And, um, yeah, make sure whatever pickup you get, the hot wire, that's the one that goes to the pickup selector. And the rest of them just got all meshed together and soldered to the back of a pot. And, yeah, I kind of like the way it looks in there. It looks pretty cool, but I'm actually going to go ahead and put on the mount, though. Here's what it's going to look like when you get the screws undone. They're going to come right out of the back there, so you can pull this thing up and off. You got your screws right there, and I mean, your springs right there on the side. And then the, the old pickup comes out all by itself. Yep, and then you're just left with the base here. Yeah. These screws are really twisted and contorted. They have made it super difficult to get them out. But, uh, get them out we will. So glad that uh, it comes with new mounting screws because it was a pain in the ass to get these things out. The little, uh, just, the head got stripped. I ended up using vice grips to twist it on out of there. And just look at this. It's just disgusting. Watch, it's... The fucking thing is all bent up and shit. So, yeah. yeah kind of hard to get out of there. See, I just pulled that one out. And then, uh... Right, make sure you're cleaning all those little crevices that you don't normally get access to. A little bit of hand air to blow it out. Alright, then you don't want to take the old pickup put it in there. I just want to say, getting these springs in here. As the screw goes on the top, through the thing, through the screw down to the bottom, it is a pain in the ass. Because the screw is like this long, but the spring's like this long, so you gotta compress the spring and then hold it at the same time while you at least get it a little bit threaded through so it'll stay. There's a heads up with that. Alright, there we go. That is the Seymour Duncan Nazgul. Yeah, so it's perfectly in there. No, actually, I wouldn't say perfect because the ends of the pickup, uh, these two ends, I think this pickup's a little bit smaller because the Seymour Duncan was a little bit out this way. And I kind of had to push it in there kind of hard for it to actually go down into the cavity, but just make sure it uh, sits in there well. Put your your mount back on that we can adjust the level of the pickup and everything and yeah we're good to go get back to fingering that g-string <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you.